Damn it, he's a good actor. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher. You can find me over on Instagram and TikTok at your voice teacher. How are you? It's super early here. It's 6.54 a.m. What am I doing? I'm filming and this is just the best way for me to wake up in the morning. I'm feeling energized. Today I am reacting to Jonathan Bailey singing If I Didn't Believe in You from the last five years. So Jonathan Bailey, everybody's talking about him right now. He was in Bridgerton and he played Anthony, which I gotta be real, did not like Anthony too much. But Jonathan Bailey seems like just a gem of a human. So I'm excited to hear him sing. Had no idea that he was into musical theater. Speaking of Bridgerton, if you guys wanna see me react to Bridgerton, the musical TikToks, I have made two videos <laughs> about Bridgerton and maybe I will make even more. So I'm gonna link them right here. Go check them out. It's a great time. And now I am ready to cry. Here we go. There are people, and they are publishing my book, and there is a party that they are throwing. I love it already. And while you've made it very clear that you are not going, I will be going. So that is done. What's this really about? Is it really about a party, Kathy? Can we just for a minute stop playing? I'm dying. I'm dying. First of all, how naturally he started the song with his body language, it felt 100% like he was talking. Oh my gosh. And as he's going through this, gosh, this is one of the reasons why I love Jason Robert Brown. His songs feel just real, they tell real stories. I'm obsessed with this. I feel like I'm watching like a real couple fight right now. Oh, I love it. And say what we feel. Oh, he's got great vibrato. Is it just that you were disappointed to be touring again for the summer? Did you think this would all be much easier? And it's turned out to be. Well, then talk to me, Kathy. It's a very loud motorcycle. Talk to me. Was that a motorcycle or a train? That was so loud. Bad timing. If I didn't believe in you, I wouldn't have gotten this far. I didn't believe in you and all of the 10,000 women you are. If I didn't think you could do anything you ever wanted to, if I wasn't certain that you would come through somehow. Damn it, he's a good actor. Did you hear the top note on you? So he is mixing up there for sure, but it's a little bit more head voice. And we know later, because we know the song, he's gonna start belting, which I'm really excited to hear. I love how he went up to that top note and kept it connected versus adding air and making a falsetto. Although I've heard people make that choice and I think it's a totally valid choice. It's still very beautiful, but I love the way he sang that. You ever wanted to? certain that you would come through somehow. The fact of the matter is, Kathy, I wouldn't be standing here now. Oh, it's so good. If I didn't believe in you, wouldn't be having this fight. Really leaning into this chest voice. I didn't believe in you. Walk out the door and say, Kathy, you're right. But I could never let that go. Knowing the things about you, I know things when I met you four years ago. I knew it 
It's never so good. <laughs> took much convincing to make me believe in you. I am gonna call him out on something, Jonathan. It never took much convincing. Convincing? No, thank you. That's actually one of my biggest pet peeves. Occasionally, it's okay. Occasionally, I let it slide if we need to open up the vowel to an A, but on that one. It never took much He's so good that I have to be to make me believe in you. But don't we get to be happy, Kathy? At some point down the line, don't we get to relax without some new solace? Push me yet further from you If I'm cheering on your side, Kathy Why can't you support mine? Why do I have to feel Like I've committed some felony Doing what I always swore I would do Okay, I have chills. I wish you guys could see. I have chills right now. He's such a good actor. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. But as he is gaining drink, the intensity of the emotion is rising and also the volume, and that's happening at the same time. That doesn't mean that intensity equals volume. In some emotional musical theater songs, maybe the highest point of an emotional intensity is actually the lowest volume in the song, which I think is very interesting. But right now the intensity is building, his volume's building, and so he's adding a lot more chest voice, and it's very nice belt. Like I've committed some felony Doing what I always swore I would do And I don't want you to hurt I don't want you to sink But you know what I think I think you'll be fine Just hold on and you'll see But don't make me wait till you do Okay, we gotta talk about this. We got some tongue tension going on. Jonathan, let's look at that. You'll be fine. Just Watch hold on and see. So tongue tension sometimes can be a little tricky to find. We might be feeling some tension back here and think that we have throat tension because it's right back there. But the root of our tongue, our tongue is way bigger than we think it is. So right back here, that's actually tongue tension. And because of his tongue tension, his jaw tightened up as well. And he still sounds fabulous. He's getting those high notes. I love it. But on that note, there was a little less vibrato, which indicates to me that that tension is getting in the way of his vocal balance. So Jonathan, Bailey, if you're watching this video, you can have a lesson with me anytime. Let's get together. We can release that tension so fast and free up those top notes. A lot more resonance and make them feel way better. But don't make me wait till you do to be happy with you. It's Ooh, right here. Listen again. to me. See that? No one can give you courage. No one can thicken your skin. I will not fail so you can be comfortable, Kathy. I will not lose cause you can't win. Ooh. That line always gets me. If I didn't believe in you, well here's where the travel log ends. If I didn't believe in you, I couldn't have got up before all of our friends and say, this is the life I choose. This is the thing I can't bear to lose. Trip us or trap us. That top of you is to fall. That's what I thought we agreed on. Kathy. If I didn't believe in you, I wouldn't have loved you at all. Now, can we 
your dress on? We'll go to this party. Can we do that, please? Speechless. I'm still holding my tea. Okay. Let's talk about that. Okay. Here's something that I think about the last five years. This is why I love it. Kathy is a dream role of mine. And as weird as it sounds, Jamie is one of my favorite musical theater roles because there's so much more to his character. I think sometimes Jamie is portrayed as 100% the villain. Kathy and Jamie's marriage failed 100% because of Jamie. I don't think that that's true. I think that there's a lot that we don't see on the other side. That's why every single song is one-sided. We get the illusion that we get the whole story, but we actually don't. And so I really love this song. I also love Nobody Needs to Know. Oh my gosh, that's maybe one of my favorite musical theater songs ever. I love the way that he portrayed this, like his body language, like moving from clearly like very agitated to angry, to desperate, to so many different emotions. And with those different emotions, he was showing different colors to his voice. And I think that's where musical theater magic comes in. We're better singers when we're better actors. We can use the emotion in the song to help inform our vocal choices. And with my students, a lot of the time, we will be working on our vocal technique in our exercises. But then when it comes to applying to a song, we've got to forget it. We have to really focus on the emotion. The last thing I want you guys to be thinking about when you're on stage or at an audition, if you are performing, is the vocal technique. No, you got to think about the emotion when we really connect to the emotion, something magical happens and all of that stuff that we worked on comes through and we are better singers. It's true. So Jonathan did that so well. I mean, his voice is amazing. I loved his vibrato and I really loved how the song kind of felt like less is more. He got to a point where he was yelling, AKA in real life, he would have been yelling when he was belting those top notes, but it was only for a moment. It was almost like he let his guard down and then he like tried to pull it back in, tried to restrain himself. Oh, that was so fabulous. Oh my gosh, good job, Jonathan. If by chance you're watching, I would just be so happy to give you a lesson. So let me know. <laughs> we can work together. I've been reacting lately a lot to TV shows and I have a lot of movies and TV shows that I want to react to that have singing in them. But sometimes it's good since I post three times a week to have videos like this where it's just one video. It's a little easier for me to film and also easier on my editor, Vive. She's a godsend. So if there's any other songs that I should be reacting to, please let me know in the comments. And until next time, I'm Hannah. I'm your voice teacher. Please like and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.